recently encountered discrimination at the mall the bridges in Sunderland on the basis of who I am, what I am as well as my spirituality and philosophy in life. It has caused me stress and distress. This sort of authoritative abuse had not only been inflicted on me in this scenario, it had been inflicted on me in all my life. From the time I was a child growing up with religious fanatic parents who believed in a god, and felt it gave them the right to abuse me, try and conform me. However I feel if it was not for my extraterrestrial visit with Ananiah, would I still remain in the matrix, would I be so distant from the truth that I would defending the lie, the system of enforcement of forced retribution on others and ruining their lives? Would I not discover the truth about my own body and wonder why I on period occasions bleed through the scar of pineal rake, menstruational periods, and never fully develop into the masculine entity my parents forced me to be? One cannot predict the future. However in no matter how it is covered up and how many angels, that is people of consciousness unearth parts of the truth that gets exposed enough to get one's attention to uncover all of the truth. People who make it their goal to uncover all of the truth to alleviate the ignorance that is enforced on all of us to believe are known as whistleblowers. We like to see things that happen to be transparent, especially those who have the resources that make things happen. Unfortunately those who have the resources to make things happen are often greedy and selfish and exploit the resources, to the extent they exploit others. They forget to understand that one is another them, and the only solution to this chaotic ignorance, is not only education, but love, compassion, understanding and empathy. How does one help to enlighten the bullies when been abused by the system and the people who follow it mindlessly without being accused of enforcing? The thing is speaking out is not enforcing. I only wish to be understood, accepted and tolerated if one does not agree to my philosophy of life, spirituality and being. I do not wish to be bullied and told what to do that I receive emotional and possible physical abuse. I have done nothing wrong, I do what I do, I share, I discover and I give. Dot. I do not enforce like you do. Why is it you destroy what I create and give? If you don't like it, turn the other way and find what makes you feel happy and do what makes you feel happy. I do not destroy what you do or even sell with a cost. Why do you wish to enforce your control over me, and wish to hide me? feel ashamed of me because I had been born different to the norm. To destroy my work and creativity, to hide and censor my work and creativity. To use stuff written in books that are not of your own consciousness, thoughts and intelligence but of others as an excuse to give reason to violently attack me, emotionally or physically. Why do you carry out the orders of those who have more money mindlessly without having the empathy and compassion to understand me? Instead of carrying out the discriminatory tasks to remove me, reject me or to ban me, to lock me up or to charge me on the illusion of disturbing the peace section 5 blah blah policy when I myself have my consciousness on love, as love brings out true peace. You who come at me violently to carry out a meme that had been handed down from religion into the field of law in order to conform and bash the shit out of me and wreck my life and my work? Why do you people do this when I do not do this to them, I don't understand. The only thing I can think of to make sense of it all is to study and ponder why people inflict this conformity and enforcement onto me when I am doing nothing wrong but being myself and hurting no one. People claim to be offended by art, but how and why? It isn't offensive as it only emits love and light, from the source of my consciousness foundationed in love, tenderness, empathy and compassion. I noticed that violence and fighting and exploiting others is acceptable to them, and often get enjoyment out of bullying and see someone else other than themselves in pain, and especially when they are inflicting the pain onto someone, because they choose not to conform and focus on themselves and evolving their own consciousness spiritually. 
I myself find women being enforced to webcams as being offensive, but I don't force them to leave, or to discriminate on what they feel is right under their brainwashed religious conditions, predominantly enforced on by the male people of their religion. What you have done to me is exactly the same as going to them and doing the exact same thing. I wish people would awaken and mature to the point where they don't bother and enforce things onto other people because they are different. Rather learn and be tolerant than to enforce yourselves violently on them by covering up, censoring, removing, deleting and destroying. Be creative and loving, show acceptance and understanding, be love, which is your true selves in the way you truly give and receive love. Science reveals the truth about ourselves, but the artificially imposed law covers it up. Much love, Namaste. Hey, just a quick uh, note, I want to let everybody know that uh, I created a neat piece of art based off of the War in Heaven. Uh, you can go download it and do whatever you want to with it. And um, I just wanted to show you, uh, the neat thing about it is, is that all the holograms uh, that are pertinent to the, uh, the War in Heaven, uh, including the two fighting each other, what I did is I just went in there and I just exposed so we have a, a very interesting War in Heaven going on right here. and. Uh, all these holograms that you're looking at, the Dread Dragon, all that stuff, just like I've shown you before, uh, you know, it's all...
This is this is this is my artwork. What? I'm known by many names. This is my artwork. I have every right to be here. Um, no, you haven't, because there's the staff here that work in here, partially. Yeah, that's discrimination. You're discriminating me on the base of my culture, the base of my my work. This is my life. That's my life. This is my, this work is my life. Right, that's fine. But if some people don't want to look at it, they shouldn't have to look at it. You yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, if they don't want to look at it, turn their heads. Turn their heads. Kids, what about all the violence on the TV? Oh, but the thing is, the, the thing is... Are you going to take your picture and leave or are you going to get arrested? Arrested? Yes. I'm not breaching the people. I am sitting here. You, no, you're so being discriminatory. Oh, no. They've asked us to ask you to leave and they can do that. We've got to do that if they ask us to. Alright, we're trying to be as reasonable as we can with you. Alright, we're not trying to be prejudiced against you. Not you are women. being... The, well, then whoever's up there... Right, they've told us to you yeah, but, so we've got to have okay. Okay, we, we, but the thing is, they're using you as your as no, they're using you as your tool, as their tools to inflict abuse and bully me because I am different. Yeah, but they're using you as a bully. Don't you? Yeah, but the, it is wrong. You should put us to follow your consciousness. Empathy, love, compassion, and understanding. Empathy, love, compassion, and understanding. We are being very good. Like I say, if they want you to leave, then you just have to leave simply. But the thing is, I have every right to be in here, like everyone. Because this is all about people who want you to be owned. Just but, but this is a, this, but everyone shops here, the public shops here, and I am public. Right, and they must yet leave because you're not saying to you. Because it's weird. Yeah, but the thing is, what about all the violence on the TV? And it's considered uh, PG-13, and people are basically clobbering each other their heads. But this is natural. That this is life. It's basically explaining the universe, uh, the infinity above with the infinity below, um, combining the two parts of infinity. Um, the heart, love, it's got the heart shape in it, and then the heart is very much the source of consciousness it feels that way, don't worry you're conscious in your head but when you sort out, feel what's right and wrong it comes from the heart and then you got the planets and the stars, nature and it basically the title of this painting is called uh, the cosmic orgasm is when you have your cosmic, when you go in that uh, sort of central meditation you connect with the infinite and that's how you can actually connect to the, um, the cold conscious nature of the universe and beyond. But it isn't really... Um, they don't like my... If they, if they had a problem with it... Little kitties. Little kitties. What about little kitties seeing people killing each other on TV? It's my artwork. It's not offensive. It's natural. It's not offensive to them. What is offensive is when what happened to me when I was born. Uh, my, my parents took my ambiguous genitalia. Months after I was born, they removed my vagina and they forced me to live as a male. That is offensive. No, no, I'm just trying to explain to you what, I, what I've experienced in my life, what is offensive. No, don't, 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 don't! 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 No, don't leave my painting alone. Come with you? What do you mean? What for? No, no, you're the one that came to me and caused the scene. I am just sitting here, and you come to me, and you, you, you basically uh, bullying me. You, you bullying me. Please stop bullying me. I do not. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't. I, I can't stand this discrimination. You are being discriminated. Many people push me in the corner, throw me aside. You must leave. Ban me. Reject me. I am tight.
It's my artwork, it's my creativity, it's what I... Because I walk and I shop in here. Yeah, but you can cover that up, don't you? I can't cover it up, it's just weight in certain areas. 